Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Good Morning Connect. It's so great to have you with us again this Sunday morning. With me is my guy, Pastor Julian. How you doing, Pastor Julian? I'm doing well. I got to get used to having the mic like right at my face. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's got to be right here. On I keep it right on my chin. But, you know, hey, yeah. that, that's, that's how I do it. So make sure that everybody can hear us real well on this Sunday morning. How you doing this morning? Uh, it's, it's early. It is? Yes, it's early. Um, been working, so the days are running together. So. I, I get it. I get it. Working a lot, huh? Uh. I can neither confirm or deny that. So I've been <laughs> at working. Work, at work a lot. <laughs> yes, I've been at I, work. I, I, too, have been at work a lot. Yes. So I get that. Well, hey, look, it's coming up in June. This is going to be Join Our Family Month in June. Pastor yes, Julian is. here and his wife, Pastor Audrey, are our discipleship pastors here at Connect Fellowship Church. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you guys do here? So in June, uh, Join Our Family Month is an opportunity for people who do not have a church home to come and be a part of our family. And we have set up uh, what we've called what we call empowerment track. And what it is, it's an opportunity for you to learn who you are in Christ, the path that God has put you on, and how you can do that, and how we can help you to further that. Um, your basically your walk with God. And June is the month that we designated after all this stuff to get back in order, so that we can start getting people back on track for that. And that's what empowerment track is. And I like that we're calling it Join Our Family Month. Yeah, because that's really what we are here as a family. Yes, we want to we want to uh, experience life together. We don't want to just put people through a process. We want to be able to create relationships and be there for each other, especially right now when it's more obvious that people need people and not things. Absolutely. So we're going to be there for each other. And June is the month that we're going to do that. Absolutely. So guys, if you're new to Connect, maybe you maybe you've never even been to our our building here. You haven't been able to meet us in person. Go ahead and contact us online. There's a few ways you can do that. You can in email us at info at connectfellowship.church. Correct. You can message us on Facebook. Yes. You can download our app and message us on there. It's the Connect Fellowship app. All kinds of ways. We'd love to have you get involved with Empowerment Track and join the family here. Maybe you came and visited before this whole COVID thing happened. And didn't get a chance to come back. <laughs> so, so hey, we would love to have you come back. But we're so glad that everybody's following along online. We've had so many people just being engaged and getting involved in our social media platforms and our online platforms. Yeah, we, uh, we're on Facebook. We go Facebook Live. We will be doing that um, just actually soon after this uh, airs. We'll be going Facebook Live. We do that at 1015 a.m. And we also have another service that we air at 6 p.m. later on this evening. And what we want to do is we want to give people ample opportunity to hear the word of God. We know that um, right now people are getting adjusted to getting back out the house. But um, many services haven't gone full on right now, so we're going to continue to do it the way we're doing it. So, again, those service times are 10, 15 a.m., which will be coming up soon, and 6 p.m. For anyone who missed it, we'll air it again. And that's on Facebook Live. And please subscribe to our YouTube platform as well. Subscribe, subscribe, and subscribe. Yes. So we also we also have plenty of things for your young children, school-age children. Our family ministries is going to be live on Facebook and YouTube at 12 o'clock. Yes, it will. And uh, that's a great opportunity for you to have something that you could do with your children. I know they are probably worrying you half to death, <laughs> but we, uh, our family ministry people, are they love children, and be, even though they don't have the opportunity to be physically with them, they want to be able to give them that same Christian experience that they got when they came to service. Absolutely. And our family ministries team, they work so hard. They, they, are, they are so invested in your children that they, their heart for your kids just pours out. In, yes, it in does. These, even in these online messages, the ones that I've watched, my kids are older and not in family ministries yeah. anymore. But the heart that pours out through the message that they give and the involvement and the interaction that they do and the work that they put in, it's amazing. Yes, it is. And I'm sure even though you may not be missing your children right now, <laughs> our family ministry is. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, guys, we're going to go ahead and move into tithes and offerings. There's a couple things I want to talk to you about with tithes and offerings. There's plenty of ways that you can do that. Yes, there If are. you have been faithful and continuing to give to God's kingdom, we want to thank you. Thank you for continuing to stay faithful. If you want to get started in that faithfulness and get started in your giving, maybe you've never tithed before. Maybe, maybe you're new to tithing. Maybe you're new to church. Maybe, you're, maybe this is your first time hearing about tithing. There's plenty of ways that you can do that here at Connect. But first, I want to talk to you about kind of the heart behind why we why we give well um reason why we give one we're we were commanded by god to give and it is it, as a believer it's not a burden to us it's a blessing and the, 
the Bible says that it's more blessed to give than to receive and that we given the opportunity by God to pour out the things that he has poured into us, into the people who need them and the, the lives that we are able to affect by being able to give. It is a blessing to our soul and to our church. Absolutely. I want to go over this verse, Matthew six nineteen through 21. It's in the New Living Translation, the NLT version. It says, don't store up treasures here on earth where moths eat them and rust destroys them and where thieves break in and steal. Store your treasures in heaven where moths and rust cannot destroy and thieves do not break in and steal. Wherever your treasure is, there the desires of your heart will be also. Amen. Hey, where you know when, when you're investing in, I was going to say Jabos, <laughs> Blue Jeep clothes. You I don't just, know where you I, just put a date on I yourself. I had a conversation about Jabos and G. Gavarici earlier today. Whew. So just putting, just putting that out there. But whenever you, you're invested, so you're invested in the stock market heavily, and you're, you're paying attention to the stock market, that's, that's where your heart's going to go because that's where, that's where your treasure's invested. If it's, if it's in cars, that's where, your, that's where your time and your investment goes. Well, whenever you invest your treasure into the kingdom of God, so then your heart follows. Correct. Uh, old man told me one time, actually at the job that I'm at right now, when I first hired in, he said, young man, wherever you spend most of your money is probably where you spend most of your time. Hey, good words. And when you, treasure, when you treasure God, when you treasure your family, whatever you treasure is going to be the place that you're going to find yourself at the most. We work for a living. That's so right. a great chunk of our day is spent at work. A large so chunk. whenever you want to show God, that you treasure him the same way that we treasure people. You take parts of your life and you dedicate it to the person that you love. And our money is not something that we should hide from God. It is something that we treasure and we should also share that treasure with the Lord. Absolutely. And as a church, we share. Right? We mentioned last week how we are be able, we, we have been able to give above and beyond to different ministries that we support here, different missions, um, Church Multiplication Network plants churches all over the country, all over the world. Yes, it does. We're also we're also starting to give back and trying to give extra to to Guatemala. We, we have a village. If you don't know, we have a village that we invested in that we that we adopted in Guatemala. Yes, we we, did. we had a mission, uh, a group of missionaries. Pastor Julian was one of them. Yes, I was. That was able to go to Guatemala and and do some work. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Guatemala? Well, when we went to Guatemala, we had the opportunity to to go to a place that has um, somewhat been forgotten. They're kind of off and away from the, the, the meat of society, so to speak, and they were kind of left to their own. And we had an opportunity to go up there, to bring food to them, to bring the, the word of God to them. Also, we had an opportunity to build a school there. Wow. And there are other projects that we have moving forward that we continue to give to, so that, uh, for instance, giving them clean running water, uh, giving them uh, opportunity to plant food and, and clean up their neighborhoods and educate themselves. So we're continuing to give that we adopted them and we haven't let them down. We're going to continue to do what we're doing. That's amazing. And, you know, during this COVID-19 uh, pandemic situation that we're in, you know, we, we, we've had essential workers who have been on the front lines with healthcare workers, but not only healthcare workers, but, but grocery store workers and pharmacy workers. We, we've had the opportunity to continue to go get the essentials that we need, food, toilet paper, yes, whatever the case may Who be. Who would have thought toilet paper <laughs> would have been a commodity? But I, I know that uh, Pastor Brian has been talking about this at 7 o'clock during our Connect Devotions um, about Guatemala, Las Vasquez, and the, the village that we've adopted. They, they don't have that opportunity. They don't have grocery stores in their village. No, they do not. They have been, their quarantine is more strict than ours. And because of that, they don't they are not allowed to leave outside of the limits of their town. Hmm. And because of that, they they are allowing for uh, people like us to send them things to 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 offset the fact that no one can leave out of their towns. And it is uh, it is dire straits for some people around the world who don't have the conveniences that we are accustomed to. So what we're doing for our village, Las Vasquez, that we've adopted in Guatemala is is we're trying to get $3,000. What that is going to do is for $30, we'll feed one family for a month. Correct. So we're trying to feed 100 families in our village for a month, $3,000. We're already on our way. We've had plenty of people given. We appreciate that. Thank you so much. But we still have a ways to go. If you'd like to give to that effort to feed in our village, our adopted village in Guatemala, Las Vasquez, you can go on our website connectfellowship.church, click the give button. When you go to give, 
Just put on there Guatemala in the memo tab. You can do the same thing on our app. Whenever you do that, remember that that is an offering. That's above and beyond your tithe. So tithes are what we just talked about. That is your your um, faithfulness to God. That is you building the kingdom of God. And the offering is is above and beyond. So we want to we want to continue to go above and beyond. If you're able to, go ahead and go to our app, go to our website, give. We'd love to have that happen, guys. We've also given another way for you to give in your tithes. You can text now. Text to give. If you text Connect FC to two zero six eight five nine. 9405, it's a quick, easy avenue to sell right in there and take care of your ties and knock it out right away. That's and big. I'm sure somebody is going to put that phone number right down there somewhere. I would I would hope so. Right down that, there somewhere. Because if not, then they just need to know. It's uh, 206-859-9405 in case they don't get to edit that. But I Ever. bet it's going to be right down there. and Somebody's going to comment it right down there in the comments. So, hey, we're, we're excited. We're going to get that at $3,000 mark and blow that $3,000 mark out of the water. Yes, and this, and I can, as a person who's actually been and, and left my footprint in that village, I can tell you that, that that money is well spent and it goes directly to those people and it does impact them in a major way. Absolutely. Absolutely. And if if you're unable to do that, give financially, just pray. Pray for those people because they, they are locked down in a village that they, they don't have any way to get out of. They're, they're, they're on a lockdown. Yeah. So pray for those people. If you need prayer, we'd love to pray for you. Contact us, info at connectfellowship.church. If you need something, if you need prayer, specific prayer for anything, contact us, info at connectfellowship.church. Message, message us. I get, I'm, I'm stuttering a little bit. I, I think you just caught up in the, the emotion. I'm so though. excited. I, I, look, we our, our people here, we love to pray. We, we pray on a regular yes, we basis. Do. We pray every single day for our family. Yeah. And we pray for the people that, that watch this uh, broadcast. Absolutely. Have, we, we pray for you. Absolutely. So, guys, don't forget to stay connected with our Connect Devotions, 40 Days of Prayer. We're, we're kind of moving that into Pastor Brian has been bringing the heat every Monday through Thursday at seven o'clock on Facebook Live. He's just bringing a great message. Yeah, it's every a, night. It's an opportunity for us to continue to meet for each other. Um, the Bible says, "Do not deny the meetings of ourselves." And even though there are some obstacles, we're not going to allow those obstacles to define our relationships with each other or our relationship with God. So we'll use technology and whatever is available to continue to shameless plug connect with, with each other. But it's important that we continue to look at each other, see each other, interact, make sure that we're all okay. And he's been he's literally been bringing the word Absolutely. at 7 o'clock every night, Absolutely. Monday through Thursday. So make sure you catch that, 7 o'clock, Monday through Thursday at 7 p.m., Facebook Live. Great, great stuff. Well, hey, guys, we're going to get ready to move into Pastor Brian's message series, The Good Life. Yes, it is. The good week life. five was week five, The Way to Mercy. Should be an incredible message, guys. We're so glad that you were able to join us this morning. We hope that you can settle in and, and join us for worship and a great message. We love you. We can't wait to see you again. Have a good morning.